Amazon announced this morning that it would be purchasing iRobot, uh, the Roomba maker, for $1.7 billion. And from the outside looking in, this is such a fantastic acquisition for Amazon on its path to becoming the company that you turn to for basically anything in the home. I mean, Amazon will is kind of beating this this path towards becoming absolutely ubiquitous when it comes to decisions around your life. Uh, I mean, this, this follows very quickly uh, the announcement last month that, that Amazon was, was buying One Life Healthcare. And that's a really interesting healthcare company that of course is, is very affordable on the on the B2B level, but it gives Amazon access to healthcare data. It gives Amazon access to the healthcare side of, of the decisions you make around life too. You know, and and um, you can see a world where anything that you know gives gives Amazon access to a stable revenue source, Amazon could could own. And so, I mean, if you think of what, what Amazon owns right now, they've got the Ring doorbells, um, they've got uh, uh, all the Alexa uh, home stuff. I mean, really, you can see a world where Amazon knows all of your purchasing patterns as it relates to your home. You know, the, you know, I, I don't know about you, but you know, I, I buy a lot of like, uh, for example, like uh, toilet paper, paper towels. You know, mo- actually, most things I buy through Amazon uh, if, if I'm not going to the grocery store. And uh, it looks like Amazon's ac- acquisition st- strategy right now. So, yeah, big purchases, of course. Um, but they own Whole Foods. They own um, One Life Healthcare. They own now iRobot. Uh, uh, iRobot, yep. They have all these ways that you can access just, you know, they, they can deliver things to you uh, in some cases, within the day, Amazon is becoming the... So an interesting actual headline that I saw uh, when I was reading up on the on the iRobot acquisition was that um, it, it this could be a way that Amazon... I don't know if the technology is there just yet, but this could be an interesting way that Amazon actually maps out your home, um, you know, using kind of the way that the, the, uh, the iRobot or the, the Roomba, sorry, uh, kind of navigates around your house. They can start mapping out people's homes. Um, it may the tech may already be there. I'm, I'm not sure, um, but that's just what what interesting data Amazon could have access to, and then you combine that with purchase history data that you 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 know most people give to Amazon through through their Prime membership, and what you have is this company that I mean it's already growing as, as a function of its ad business it's already growing as a function of, of its just consumer business side but anything i mean you, that that people have to buy on a recurring basis toothpaste uh you know the food staples rice pasta um laundry detergent like really anything around the house that you you have to buy on a recurring basis amazon knows when you're going to need it they can start to build models that predict exactly when you, how fast you use it based on, you know, for example, we'll use uh, laundry detergent based on the frequency that you you buy laundry detergent. It can probably build a model that predicts how quickly your clothes wear out, for example. And it has all those clothing labels, the, you know, private label clothing labels that they can start to send, hey, you know, hey, you know, uh, Maybe it's time for a new shirt. And Amazon starts to build this this thing where they just become absolutely essential to the way that you make decisions in life and, and removes decisions that, that you sometimes don't want to make. I know for one, for me, um, I don't particularly like uh, shopping for clothing. So if Amazon could take, you know, my purchase data and, and take, you know, some of my likes and dislikes, build a model for me and say, okay, Kane, I think it's time for you to to buy a new suit or it's time for you to buy some new shoes. You know, just take decision make decisions off the table for me. Um, I, I just think it would be such a useful source. Now, we're going to run into probably antitrust issues and then Amazon becoming too, too anti-competitive and it's probably got too much data to where, you know, it becomes just a an insurmountable kind of competitor to 
to anything that competes with its private labels. But you can see the strategy playing out. And I think this acquisition of iRobot is just the next step in in uh, Amazon really understanding everything about your house, everything about your lifestyle, everything about your home, so that it can build better models to, to, to suggest better and better products to you over time.